Let's do one more example with decreasing annuities. Uh, the question will actually be equivalent to the kind of question we've asked before. Uh, I'm just illustrating a different application. Uh, instead of imagining a, an account where we're taking money out, uh, we can imagine paying off a loan, which really is just reversing the roles of the consumer and the bank. If you think about it, when you take out a loan, the bank gives you money and then you give it back with interest, which is exactly reversing the roles that you see when you put money in a bank and then make regular withdrawals and get some interest. So we expect the same formulas to be applicable, and they are. In this example, let's imagine we're borrowing for a house and we plan to be able to make monthly payments on that home loan of $1,500 and we plan to take out a 30-year loan and the bank tells us we can get 3.6 percent financing. Uh, that term financing here means the annual interest rate. It's typical to see the word financing used when the bank is making a loan uh, because it sounds generous. They're financing you to make a loan. That's really just uh, a changing of the language it means the interest they're charging you it's the same thing so fifteen hundred dollars a month for each payment we want to know how much we can borrow right now that's the present value there'll be thirty years of monthly payments for three hundred and sixty total payments and the periodic interest rate is the annual interest rate divided by twelve plug everything into the formula and simplify, you get $329,927.49. So based on the parameters we've described, that's the largest loan we could afford to make with $1,500 monthly payments. Uh, another loan type question would be asking, if we know how much we're going to borrow, how much we'll have to pay each month. So suppose we want to borrow $28,000 for a car loan at a 4% financing, so 4.8% 4. Uh, 4 financing, which means 4.8% annual interest on a six-year car loan. What will the monthly payments be? Well, we don't know PMT, but we do know present value is 28000 We know 72 monthly payments will be made at a periodic interest rate of 4.8% divided by 12. Plug everything into the formula, and we see that the quantity we want, PMT, can be isolated if we divide both sides of this equation by the quantity in parentheses. Plug all that into a calculator, and we end up with a monthly car payment of $448.35.